<laughs> no, we have to stay serious about this part. Hi, we're back. Okay, so important manners for every day. Chapter two. Part one. Um, so magic words. We all know magic words mm -hmm. when we were a kid. For example, please is a great magic word. Mm -hmm. um, it turns a command into a request. You That's see. a great point. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because most people don't, like, they don't understand why a person is offended if you don't say it. Yeah, because you're demanding them. Uh -huh. So using please expresses both respect and consideration for those with whom we're interacting and it sets the tone for whatever follows. Along with thank you, it is one of the two most important universal manners. And that does like set a positive tone. Like when you meet somebody and mm -hmm. you know that person is polite and nice and they like right. you. Like they actually like you if they say please. My mom thank always you. made me say that stuff. So. Yay! Okay, so second is. Um, oh, and you're welcome is a magic mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. Um, the next one is excuse me, pardon me, and I beg your part. I beg your pardon. Um, it expresses your awareness that you actually inconvenienced someone. Like if you bump into them, actually say excuse me. It's funny because like I beg your pardon, kind of. It, it has like a negative incantation right that's now. That's why they say the tonality of which yeah. you use it too is pardon. important. Mm -hmm. But it's like I beg, I your, beg pardon. your pardon. Yeah, it's so, so different. So it's like the tonality you have to be specific. But like, I don't ever hear anyone saying, I beg your pardon anymore. I don't either, but like, just imagine me. if you did, though. Like, yeah, I only say I beg your pardon when I'm offended. Yeah. I beg, I beg your, your pardon? pardon? <laughs> excuse it's me? It's funny how that yeah. evolved. Even excuse me. Excuse me? Yeah. Like, what did you just say? Yeah, that it was supposed to be a manner thing, and then it evolved into, like, millennials have developed bad habits. Um, I'm sorry, making and accepting apologies gracefully are acts of courtesy and maturity and they are important for matters both big and small. So sincere apologies can, can diffuse volatile situations. So you know how like something happens and you're, then you're thinking, oh, that person isn't going to forgive me, so I'm just not going to talk to them. So what if you just said sorry and then the person you're showing like a sense of not lowering yourself but vulnerability and then it allows that person to feel like it's okay to be vulnerable as well so i can understand why that would diffuse the situation so this is a tough one for me in mm. particularly is i'm um, saying no oh yeah so when someone invites you to do something you're like oh maybe you know and i think a millennial is really falling into this trap of like yeah maybe because we can just text out of it like oh sorry We've got a flat tire. Yeah, oh, like, sorry. either lie. My period came. Oh, sorry. Like, you know. We either lie or, like, I don't feel like, a like at the last minute, usually. Yeah. It's like, that's not the way it used to be. It'd be like, okay, we're planning a date on a phone call, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to be here all day or weeks in advance. We got to be there when we said we're going to be there. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know why, but, like, I think everyone Saying no is hard. This? If you're trying to, like, if you... Like, it naturally is. Naturally, you're a nice Because it's person. like someone asks you to dinner and you're like, oh, like you really don't want to. You want to mm -hmm. sit at home and like eat your own food. And you're like, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so, so, okay, so it says, uh, the courteous no. Um, I actually like this. Count to 10. Take a moment to weigh your pros and cons and evaluate your limits, time, money, and interest. Because mm -hmm. I think if we were really honest to people, we could be like, I don't have the time. Or the money. Yeah. You know, you don't say, say it nice. nice. Yeah, you have to say it nice. Um, the result is that you'll have the power of your convictions, making the no easier to deliver mm -hmm. and easier for the requester to accept. Accompany a no with a positive comment. No, but thanks for asking me. Um, give a good, honest reason when possible. Honest reason. Honest is the key word here. No, I'm swamped with my work schedule. It's just like, I feel like no one actually believes me when I say that, like, no, I have to read or I have to do research yeah, or I have to, you know, mm -hmm. they're like, okay, why? But they also have a thing where if a person says they can't do something, like, don't take offense to it. Right, that's you said also, you were going it's called, to is that your final answer? Yeah. yeah. No, it says when someone says no, turning down an invitation or request, it's, in re it's important to respect his They're or her not. decision. Yeah. Yeah. So more ways to say no. Avoid equal, equal unequivocal. No, this equivocating. 
Equivocating? Yeah, yeah. equivocating. Avoid it. Um, Can you say that again? Because we're going to cut out mistakes. Avoid equivocating. Just get it and then like say it again. Good. Because we're cutting you tripping out. A reasonable no isn't a cause for guilt. So don't hem and haw. Him and haw. I don't think I can, or I probably shouldn't. That is something I do all the time. Oh yeah, yeah because yeah. I feel guilty for saying no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then gives the I probably shouldn't gives the impression that you haven't decided and leaves the door open for further persuasion. Failing to be definitive, definitive can prolong the discussion to everyone's discomfort. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah. Oh, and don't open the door to future requests. Do that all the time. Unless you <laughs> welcome them, respond clearly. No, with my work schedule, I really can't. I'll let you know if my situation changes. That's so good. So the essentials of greeting others. This is really good. Even like, this is one issue I ran into on like film sets because you're like, you want to say hi. You may not know a person's name, but you may feel like when I first started out, like I would feel maybe intimidated, like it's freaking Ryan Murphy. You're like, what do I say to Ryan Murphy? Just say hello because it's a nice thing to do and it just shows right. that you have, you know, maturity and you're a positive person and there's nothing wrong with saying hello to anyone. The best place to cultivate the greeting habit is at home. So true, whatever you're gonna do at home, you're gonna do in public. So practice what you, you know, the feelings that you want to convey to other people. Uh, practice it at home so it becomes a natural thing. This is like very setting in, like I can feel it like, I can feel it coming. Um, informal greeting. Saying hello doesn't obligate you to stop and chat. That's an issue for me. When people say hello, I kind of feel like, oh, if I don't stop and chat with this person, then they're gonna think I'm rude. Um, if the person wants to talk, briefly explain your hurry and just part graciously. That's a good way to do it. It's only right to be courteous to people in general, so don't forget to greet the people who serve you. Obviously, I can't stand when I'm on a date with someone and they, they like treat the person that's serving us badly. That just automatically, you're unattractive. Turn off. Um, in that case, a smile and a nod and a wave will do. When someone's too far away to hear or when it would disturb others, a spoken greeting may not be possible. So just smile and nod, totally. Uh, formality is also con conveyed by your tone of voice or even your posture. Uh, make an effort to stand straight, look the person in the eye, and, and speak clearly. Formal greetings should be pleasant and genuine, but not effusive. Standing or not, whether you're male or female, rising to greet someone who just entered a room is time on a display of respect. Do you stand to someone who's older than you, someone's higher in business than you, someone you're meeting for the first mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. or someone who is traditionally shown special respect? I also like the idea, like, when you stand, it's because you want to greet that person eye level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I didn't really know why we stand, but that's why. Yeah, maybe because you watch the old movies and you see the guys doing it. It's like, really? Girls can Oh, but it is okay not to stand if you have an injury, if you're already greeted everyone once, you tra you're trapped in a booth, <laughs> or um, just looks people right. pop in and out all the time. Mm -hmm. Or you can do like the half gesture, like, huh? Ah, oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> I popped up. Hello. I tried. I tried. Yeah. I tried to be friendly. Handshaking. Ritual handshaking dates back at least to ancient Egypt and Babylon. An open right hand signified that you weren't carrying weapons and that you came in peace. Of course, now that means something completely different because who just assumes someone's carrying a weapon? Today, a handshake is a gesture of friendship in good faith as when people seal a deal by shaking hands. Now, I remember I was on a shoot and I saw the director who was just like, another on set thing. I saw the director and I said, this time I'm gonna be like really formal, like, you know, you know, you give respect, you earn respect, you know, don't be intimidated by the person. So I, I, went, at, I went in for the handshake for the director. I said, hi, my name is Ariel P, nice to meet you. And then he shook my hand, introduced himself. And then you know what he did? I shook his hand and then he grabbed my hand again and reshook it as if he was correcting my handshake, Whoa. but in a friendly way, so I'll know that this is how you shake a hand. Yeah, you're too light I was like, on it. Right? No, I wasn't even light. It was like I went in for a firm handshake like that, but there was something with, it was weird. It was like something with my fingers in a uh. placement, 
that he corrected and I don't even know it now but I'm gonna read it right here because they actually have steps to shaking a hand that who would think about this except somebody that was you know raised that, raised that way old money um, extend your right hand thumbs slightly separated creating a V between the thumb and the forefinger this is why he did this it's fine to extend your left hand if you have an injury clasp the other person's hand palm to palm you know what let's do this right spin extend your right hand thumb slightly separated creating a, a v between the thumb and the forefinger clasp the other person's hand palm to palm and with the v with the vs v's interlocking uh grip firmly but not too hard and shake two or three times <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten use as about much pressure as it takes to open a refrigerated door release and lower the hand yeah but that's what he was like he was like so sweet. I'm gonna teach you how to shake. That's cute. That's cute. Um, remember, a handshake is an offer of friendship. If your grip is really weak, the dead fish will appear cold and disinterested. A bone pressure, however, can cause injury. Hardly a friendly gesture. And I know a few people that need to learn that. So the four steps to correct to a correct greeting: mm -hmm. stand up, smile, and make eye contact. Hi. <laughs> Say your greeting. How do you do? Well, my lady. Shake hands. Yes. One, two, three, we just did. And it felt good. Yeah, it was great. It was like one, two, three. It's like a little dance. I love this. Greeting is a little dance because like, uh, some people kiss, you know, in America we shake mm -hmm. hands. Talk about in the United like States, a country. handshake rather than a bow, salam, why, or kiss is the way we greet others. Because sometimes when they go in for the kiss, I'm like, oh, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what the, to kiss two times or three yeah, times. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But like, <laughs> I like to know, I'm glad that this confirmed that in the United States we shake hands. Because mm -hmm. I like, because they're so like all about it and mm -hmm. I feel like, well, I feel so like right, you wanna, I just you messed wanna, up that green. You want to look legit, so yeah. you're like, oh, no, yeah, I'm like all over the place. <laughs> oh boy! But they have another chapter for um, if you're in another country, okay. or traveling near and far. So that's part one of chapter two. So there's more to go. Very in depth. Mm -hmm.